That is 1.64 seconds. Yes, well, I don't think if the Andrews keeps cool, he's not going to have to get wide because he's got enough lead to keep it to just uh, keep the gap going. But Rosberg is really charging, but the Andrews has got just about enough air to keep that gap for the rest of the lap. But uh, what an exciting finish of the Grand Prix. Rosberg is imperceptibly closing. Any minute now, Rosberg, oh, Rosberg coming in fast into the corner, he's giving it everything, and now if Rosberg is close enough, he's beginning to feel the effect of the toe from De Angelis' car, he is in fact close enough, and now Rosberg's in position just about to have a go, he is going to be able to catch him before the end of the lap. Fantastic finish. Well, let's see, Rosberg right with De Angelis now, one of these two is going to win the Austrian Grand Prix, they go into the Bosch curve for the last time. I can tell you that the whole Lotus team and the whole Williams team are crowding the pit rails. It's going to be one of the closest Grand Prix finishes for a long, long time. Into the Texaco bend, 140 miles an hour. On the left, the Angelus leading, on the right, Rosberg second. Well, Rosberg's only chance is a do-or-die uh, manoeuvre into the last corner, and he's coming out quicker through there. He's getting the toe. Can he get inside now? The Andrews taking the inside line. Rosberg getting the toe. Rosberg should try the outside. Oh, it's fantastic stuff. The Andrews kept him well blocked. That's very excusable on the last lap. But Rosberg's coming at him. He's going to finish side by side. And the Andrews has just held it. Up goes Elio De Angelis' hand. And the young Roman has won his first Grand Prix. And he has put the hard-trying John player special Lotus team back into contention again and this is marvellous news for them they've given us the news yesterday that next year they will be using Renault engines although maybe after the troubles that we've seen today and in the previous Grand Prix they need to make sure they've got a reliable one but Elio De Angelis as Jacques Lafitte finishes in third position is justifiably beside himself with joy he has sometimes been accused of being more of a playboy than a racing driver, but he has proved today that that is certainly not the case. There is uh, Nicky Lauda, who is coming through in fifth position, and that is Torbay finishing fourth, and behind Lauda will be Mauro Balbi. So, Elio De Angelis has won his first Grand Prix, the Austrian Grand Prix, by less than half a car's length from Kiki Rosberg. Third.